uh, greetings to all myself nitin pateri from csps so today as a part of operating system assignment 3 i'm going to explain two topics secondary storage disk structure and disk scheduling algorithms so let, let's get started with the first topic secondary storage disk structure so this is the basic structure of secondary storage disk so first this part is called arm assembly the circles here are called platers uh, all the platers together are called set of platter stack and in between the platers there's a material called spindle this spindle helps to uh, rotate the disk on average rpm is 1500 so the platter and arm assembly is connected with a material called reader and writer head this reader and writer head reads the data from the disk and writes the data into the disk there is an air gap between the platter and reader and writer as uh, the data might be get damaged as the rpm is very high so let's discuss about the uh, platter in detail so the platter is subdivided into tracks and sectors the circles here are called tracks and inside the tracks there are subparts called sectors these sectors stores the data the number of sectors in each track are equal uh, yeah that's it about the secondary storage disk structure now let's discuss about the uh, second topic disk scheduling algorithms so disk scheduling algorithm is done by operating system to schedule the input and output requests that arrives at the disk so we have disk different algorithms fcfs sstf C, uh, scan c scan look c look in this video we are going to see only two topics fcfs and sstf so fcfs is first come first serve and second one is uh, shortest seek time first so short in shortest seek time first the request having the shortest seek times are executed first and next in first come first serve the the algorithms fall uh, follow in order i have to discuss about the example for fcfs and sstf so this is the this is the example uh, and uh, these are the sensor so the total cylinders we have is 200 and the uh, reader writer is is at 60 so now we will discuss the example Thank you. 
equal to four to the each zero. So we have to add all the numbers as we already saw. So the first one is the zero. Six four. This is the total numbers in F six. So next we move on to S S F. So this is the problem. Uh, the same problem we have solved for S S T M. So S S T M is the shortest T uh, shortest C time first. So the the main uh, reason that this is fifty degree. So we need to choose the one which is the less distance from fifty degree. So from fifty degree the less distance is the sixty five. So next we need to go to sixty five. So sixty five minus fifty. The total moment will be sixty five minus fifty degree plus sixty five. Next thing next is sixty seven. So sixty seven minus sixty five plus Next thing is this. Sixty-seven. Next thing is thirty-seven. So sixty-six, sixty-seven, minus sixty-five. Sixty-seven minus sixty-seven. Plus next thing is this. Forty. Forty. Thirty-seven minus forty. Plus the next thing is this. Ninety-eight. So ninety-eight minus forty. Plus the next thing is this. One twenty-seven. Sorry, one twenty-two. One twenty-two minus ninety-two. Plus the next thing is this. One twenty-four. Plus the next thing is this. One twenty-five. 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 Plus the next thing is this. We get two thirty six. Okay.